high-performance electronic devices support our lives in a variety of fields. However, the number of soft errors that occur in these devices due to a certain cosmic phenomenon is increasing. When cosmic rays coming from outer space collide with oxygen or nitrogen atoms in the atmosphere, neutrons are generated. When these neutrons collide with semiconductors within electronic devices, they can cause soft errors, which are errors caused by neutrons rewriting data stored in these devices. Soft errors can induce failures that have critical impacts on social infrastructure. As semiconductors become more integrated and microscopically structured, they become more susceptible to neutrons. Therefore, it becomes important to pay attention to the number of failures due to soft errors arising per hour or per day in designing semiconductors and systems. To be able to calculate the number of soft error-induced failures in a variety of environments, you need to know the soft error rate, the rate at which a soft error occurs at a certain level of neutron speed or energy. However, it has been difficult to actually measure soft error rates. They have remained shrouded in mystery. To overcome this situation, NTT laboratories have collaborated with Nagoya University and Hokkaido University and succeeded in measuring soft error rates at different levels of neutron energy for the first time anywhere in the world. Neutrons coming from outer space or generated by an accelerator have various speeds or various levels of energy. The rate of soft errors caused by a neutron depends on the neutron energy. The number of soft error-induced failures in a certain environment is calculated from the number of neutrons and soft error rates. Specifically, it is the sum of the numbers of failures at various energy levels. Thus, soft error rates at continuous levels of neutron energy are essential for the calculation of failures due to soft errors. Conventionally, the soft error rate has been measured using an accelerator that can irradiate a sample with neutrons only at a certain level of energy, as shown in this graph. This means no continuous data that show the relationship between soft error rates and neutron energy have been available, as shown in this graph. Thus, it has not been possible to calculate the accurate number of failures due to soft errors. To solve this problem, NTT Laboratories first developed a super high-speed soft error detection circuit using an FPGA. NTT then measured continuous data of soft error rates in the detection circuit using the powerful accelerator at Los Alamos National Laboratory. The accelerator accelerates a proton to 800 mega electron volts, which is about 90% of the speed of light, and irradiates tungsten, the target sample, with it. Thus, it can irradiate a sample with neutrons at almost the same energy distribution as that in the natural environment, up to 800 mega electron volts. Since protons can be accelerated in pulses, neutrons can be separated in time according to their speeds or energy. Therefore, by measuring the duration of the flight of each neutron, its energy can be estimated. One problem has been that neutrons at these levels of energy travel extremely fast, at 5% to 90% of the speed of light, so it has not been possible to measure soft errors with conventional soft error detection circuits that operate in the order of milliseconds. In contrast, when the newly developed super high-speed detection circuit is used, soft errors can be detected in the order of nanoseconds, which is one millionth of the speed of the conventional method.
This graph shows the measurement results. It can be seen that soft error rates were measured at continuously varying energy at high resolution. With these data available, it has become possible to calculate the number of failures due to soft errors caused by neutrons in any environment. The data can also be useful for the selection of an optimal accelerator for soft error tests, the development of neutron sources, the development of countermeasures in semiconductor materials against soft errors, and the simulation of the soft error occurrence process. NTT Laboratories will continue to undertake R&D with an aim of realizing a safer and more secure society.